After returning to the ring at WrestleMania 40 for the first time in over a decade, it looks like Dwayne The Rock Johnson isn't done just yet competing in the ring. I'm going to tell you what The Rock had to say that alludes to this, why he might want to return, and honestly, what he could do when he does have his next match. We're also going to be talking about an AEW talent who is no longer with the company. Their contract has expired. They are a free agent, and it's a pretty big Hall of Fame worthy name. All of that and much more coming up in this video. So be sure to sit back, relax, smash that like button, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. All right, let's talk about The Rock. He, of course, teamed up with his cousin Roman Reigns at WrestleMania 40 to take on Seth Rollins and Cody Rhodes. They were victorious. The Rock got the pin in that match, you know, kind of keeping him, him strong, while Roman did not win the next night. Of course, after the night one press conference, Dwayne The Rock Johnson was asked about his future in WWE, and more specifically, whether or not there would be more matches. And he said the following, quote, There might be. Can't elaborate that po much. I uh, can't elaborate much on that, but there might be. I love what I do, and I love our business. I was born into our business, as you guys know, so we'll see. Now, in previous years, this probably would have been a bit of a, okay, is will he, won't he kind of situation. But I really do believe if you look at the way this story has developed and you look at, you know, some of the remarks from Triple H last night when he said that the bloodline story isn't over. And he specifically was talking about Roman Reigns saying that Roman is about to do something even bigger. And he obviously did not elaborate on that. And when you think about what Roman has accomplished over the past three years, which is like be the champion be the guy, hold that belt longer than anyone in modern WWE history has. What is bigger than that? The only thing that's bigger is a once-in-a-lifetime bloodline civil war match, Roman Reigns and The Rock. That's it. I mean, and look, if you look at the seeds that were planted, obviously, with the spear that Rock took in that match again, uh, alongside Roman Reigns, they are definitely planning to have this match, whether it's at Mania next year or potentially somewhere in between. We don't know. But all of this and combined with the fact that to this day, Cody Rhodes versus The Rock is still a big money match because they they made it clear that The Rock wasn't turning on no one. The Rock was doing what The Rock's going to do, but... He still had that animosity for Cody Rhodes last night. He still had that, that vitriol for Cody Rhodes. He still had that belt with Mama Rhodes written on it that he wanted to wipe with Cody's blood. There is so much unfinished business for this man in WWE. And from a storyline standpoint, it more than makes sense that The Rock stick around. However, if you look at it even deeper from a business standpoint, it makes even more sense because he talked about, you know, his love for the business and he loves what he does here. You have to look at two things, right, from a business standpoint. Number one, WWE now is just not what it was, you know, even five, six, seven years ago. WWE now is what in many ways, you know, many of the people at the top of WWE wanted it to be for so long. It is Disney. They, they they have successfully, they being the people in charge now, and I think Ari Emanuel and Endeavor will definitely like help uh, continue this trend of creating WWE into like basically a pop culture institution. Everywhere on TikTok, everywhere on Twitter, everywhere on on Sports Center, wherever you're watching, uh, whatever you're watching on the Today Show earlier today, Cody was on that. Doesn't matter. WWE is everywhere. And they are making this like a Marvel-esque type of deal where it's just IP after IP after IP thrown at you and everyone's going crazy. It is spectacle. It is precisely 
what I think many of the people behind WrestleMania one wanted that to be, but on a completely different scale. So when you look at that and the amount of money that WWE is bringing in, $50 million per Saudi show, two nights of WrestleMania that got right around or at least over $17 million per night at the gate, and that is just the gate, hundreds of millions of dollars from Peacock. We have billions of dollars coming from Netflix. They have so much more money coming in now that if you're The Rock, to you, it's almost like, in a way, it's almost the equivalent of doing, you know, a movie, you know, because there's so much money coming in. There's so much, uh, you know, fanfare around this kind of stuff. So I think you look for that to be a thing where like Rock looks at it like, okay, like what's my next project? It's WWE. And it's even more, you know, I think advantageous for The Rock because he also now is a member of the TKO board. We've discussed this before. When he came on as a board member, he was gifted thirty million dollars for, for uh, thirty million dollars, excuse me, of stock in TKO. That is a large lump sum payment. And when you combine that with, we don't even know what the hell he got paid for this current run. I'm sure it was an insane, absolutely astronomically goofy number. Uh, like so many zeros, like Ari Emanuel had to like, you know, tape another checkbook on there. But I mean, or he had to send it in two Zelle payments, whatever, uh, whatever, however you want to take that, um, that symbolism, take it. But regardless, he has that incentive to, you know, want WWE to be profitable, want WWE to do well and, and want it to be popular. And if he has the potential to help change the meter, to help elevate the stock to help you know elevate the company he's gonna do it now because he's on the board of tko so there's a lot that is pointing in the direction of the rock will be around i I think he will i don't think he's going anywhere at all but definitely want to hear what y'all think let me know in the comment section as we move on to our next topic for today Let's talk about All Elite Wrestling. Um, They are losing, or seemingly are uh, losing a star here with Matt Hardy. So Matt Hardy has allowed his AEW contract to expire. This according to a report from FightfulSelect.com. We knew that Hardy's contract was coming up. And he had spoken very publicly on his podcast uh, about his contract situation, how he had received a, an offer from AEW, but he was mulling it over, he was looking it over, you know, he was taking his time with it. And it looks like now that his current deal with AEW has expired, Fightful Select even reported that, you know, there was uh, potentially, like, uh, an, an extension here. We don't know whether that was for injury or what have you, but Matt Hardy is a free agent if he wants to, He can go talk to WWE, he can go talk to TNA, do whatever he wants. One thing is clear about Matt Hardy, though, he's not someone who sounds like he is done with pro wrestling. In fact, Matt Hardy has said that, you know, he feels like the best is yet to come and that he feels like he can do some of the best work of his career in this next run. Now, of course, we also know that Jeff Hardy at this point is still believed to be under contract, so... Jeff coming along and doing something with Matt would would not be possible right now. And I'm not sure what Jeff's contract situation is because you could argue that he probably uh, or you could speculate that he had more uh, time added to his contract because of his legal situations. So we don't know if we'll, ever, if we'll see the Hardys together anytime soon. And I don't think this rules out Hardy coming back to AEW or, or you know, eventually signing whatever that offer is, because I think there's value in having Matt Hardy, um, you know, backstage and on your show. The question is, is Matt Hardy just going to want to be that guy? Because if, if I'm looking at it right from a booking standpoint, what else is there for Matt Hardy to do in AEW? To me, there's only one more thing he can do, and that is team up. Jeff, Hart, Jeff and Matt Hardy versus Edge and Christian one final time. That is it. And you could sell a pay-per-view around that. That could be like, your, you want Wrestle Dream? Like that, that could be like your main event of Wrestle Dream. That could be your main event of All Out. That could be a main event of nearly any pay-per-view that AEW does. But how far along from the story are we? Because, you know, Adam Copeland and Christian Cage just had a very, you know, severe I quit match. They could always bring Christian back and like hotshot it, but... 
like really if we're looking at it from that standpoint, there is nothing else for Matt Hardy to do other than to just be Matt Hardy and come out with Jeff and they'll do the, I even got the light on. That's, that's perfect. But there, yeah, like there, what is, what else is there to do? I don't know. I, I just think realistically, like it might be best for him and AEW if Matt just goes to like TNA or something like that. But he was at Raw and, and Raleigh a few weeks ago. People made a big fuss about that. Although, we as we saw at WrestleMania, Dustin Rhodes, Ricky Starks, a lot of people, negative one, was in the ring. We were celebrating with Cody Rhodes, and he apparently has like a future deals with AEW or something, which we don't know how real that is. But anyway, um, but, but shout out to negative one, though. But overall, we'll have to see what happens here. My inclining is that he will probably do... He, he, I think Matt will go somewhere where... He knows he will have the creative freedom to, you know, do things his way. And I think that that means a lot to him. And if you listen to his podcast, you listen to him talk about the situation. I think that's very clear. But we will see what happens. I want to hear from you guys, though. What do you guys think is next for Matt Hardy? Is he going to stay with AEW? Are we going to get a Matt Hardy singles run back in WWE? Are we going to get the version one? Oh, yeah. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, let me know in the comments section. Also, be sure to smash that like button, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Until next time, keep it real.